Reds' final game at County Stadium. There you see the new Miller Park. Warren Spahn back on the bump. He won the very first game there, April 14, 1953, and throwing to the old catcher, Del Crandall, former Brewers manager. Uh, Brewers pitchers of the past there as well. You got Raleigh Finger, Cy Young, MVP in 81, and the future. Ben Sheets wearing that Olympic gold medal he pitched the USA to. Jeff D'Amico, currently the best pitcher for the Brewers. Not on this day. Sean Casey rips the three run a homer to right. He was three for three with four ribs and the largest crowd in county stadium history. Not happy about that, but they do get to see Mark Loretta facing Elmer Dessens. And Loretta grounds out to Juan Castro to end the game and the era of county stadium. Reds win it 8 1. Post game festivities, you got to remove home plate and get it over to the other place, and then you got to have Mr. Baseball for the rest of it. Oh, how you have changed in so many ways. Yet, one thing remains. A bond between heroes and fans. And an ambition to succeed. It was here that boys became men. Men became champions. And champions became legends. So long, old friend. And good night, everybody. This history can't close the place out without Sister Sledge. Ah, uh, mighty fine. Doc Ellis pitching to Manny Sanguin, Jim Leland, Gene Lamont, Chuck Tanner. Looking at all the lineup cards. As for the game, John Wayner, who had already homered, grounds out to wrap up the last baseball game at Three Rivers Stadium. Pirates lose 10-9. The grounds crew digs out home plate and then hands it to the Rocket Man, who sends it over to PNC Ballpark nearby. Andy Van Slyke, Jim Leland, and, of course, Pops, part of the post-game festivities. Willie Stargell getting that huge hug from Jason Kendall, a nice way to close things out. Bouncing ball to second, should be the game. Tomas Perez throws out Todd Walker, Jose Mesa. The Phillies' all-time saves leader and saves in a season, his 44th save of the year. He had to go an inning a third to get his 44th save, and he saves it for Brandon Duckworth. Mesa saves all three games in this weekend sweep in the last games played at Synergy Field. Full count to Udley, ground ball. They're going to get one. They are going to turn a double play, and that is going to end the ball game and end the Phillies season and end the Veterans Stadium. So. No runs, a hit, no errors, none left. Atlanta wins the final game with the bat by a score of 5 to 2. When the game ended, the ceremony began. A police escort guided a military Hummer into Qualcomm as stadium workers dug up home plate. When the work was done, the plate was handed to Mayor Dick Murphy. Then, into the Hummer, out of Qualcomm, and taken to its new home downtown at Petco Park. It looks terrific. The fans are going to love Petco Park. Back at the queue, Padre heroes of the past and present took center stage. Winfield, Garvey, and Hoffy to the tune of Hell's Bells, of course. Finally, Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn, threw out the final pitch in Qualcomm baseball history. It's been an unbelievable 40 years. And the Cardinals cap it with a win, 7-5, to five, and that's number 100. That's a fair ball.
1 0 to Church. Hit in the air to center field. It's deep. Back goes Maven. He has room, and Maven makes the catch. And for the second straight season, the Mets' year ends in abject disappointment on the final day. Shea Stadium will be put to bed. The Milwaukee Brewers have won the wild card, and the Mets are sent home by the Florida Marlins on the final Sunday for the second straight season. And they hope to carry that in the Tuesday's game. Ground ball to second, and the Twins can't go outside to play just yet. 